Who is it? Ah, my son. John! John! Thank God you have come. That wretched animal, the Santa, has been sent to oversee a massacre in El Tepulco. Come, we must stop him and finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers. Go now. My men will show you the way. I will stay with the camp. Come! Good luck! It is good that you are helping Luisa. It ain't right what happened to her father. She's a brave girl. She can fight as well as any man. She ain't the only woman I've seen fighting for Reyes. Yes, women, even children. Everybody must become a soldier if we are to win this war. That's a lot to sacrifice. I just hope it's worth it. It is better to die free than live a slave. Were you a soldier once, compadre? A soldier? No, I was never much good at taking orders. So where did you learn about explosives? I guess some banks ain't easy to get into on weekends. It was impressive what you did at the bridge, destroying that convoy. The army is getting weaker by the day. I'm sure there's more supplies where those came from. We will destroy those too? Allende is scared and making mistakes. We are closer to victory than you think. No talking now, compadre. We must stay alert. El sepulcro is just up ahead. All right. Tell your men not to open fire till I make a move. We don't want to give them a chance to escape. And leave DeSanta to me. I need him alive. We will wait for your lead, senor. En el nombre del gobierno provincial del coronel Allende y del estado de este país, te condeno a muerte por traición. ¿Tienes algunas últimas palabras? No. Come on, quick. Hey, look out, Marston. Seguimos por aquí. Christ, that was close. Who are you boys steal their uniforms off? Run up in there! Where is Javi 
Pierre a square. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right. All right. Madruga. It's hold up there. Now hurry up and kill me. Or just let me go. Okay? Can we kill this piece of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? Please! I am begging you! Go on, finish him. He's all yours, fellas. I got what I need. Esto es para México. Can I have this? Come on! You can't give up now! Get back on your horse! We don't have time for this! Come on! You can't give up now! Get back on your horse! We don't have time for this! Thank you, compadre! It should really have been you! I don't like to kill a man on his knees! Even if he does deserve it! Go! Keep moving! That man is responsible for hundreds of innocent deaths, maybe thousands. He will burn in hell. We all will, my friend. Espinosa is dead. De Santa is dead. The army is without leader. We must move on Allende now before it's too late. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. Time ago, but not anymore. Old friends make their worst enemies. You're telling me. Escuela is known in this province. He was a revolutionary once. Why are you stopping? But then he went to your country. Now they say he kills for anybody who will pay. This place is deserted. Is it always this quiet? Ahora mismo! Marcelo! Hey, you, lady. Hmm. Where's Javier Escuela? <laughs> Javier Escuela? He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shot up this place for him, huh? I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. But Captain DeSanta said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. <laughs> Go shoot up some place else. <coughs> <laughs> Tenemos que movilizar fuerzas en el extremo sur de la llanura. 
para que los flancos del este y el oeste. Where sean... is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo. Here. Well, well, well. Look who it is. The American bandit turned bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexico Revolution. I don't know about that, mister. No, but I do, Mr. John Marston. I do. A man like you or me with with just a few such men, I tell you I could rule the entire country. Hey, hermanos unidos, set my people free! Libre Mexico! Mexico! Libre Mexico! It's like food to me. I feel I was sent for them and they were sent to me. Good for you. Uh, when I rule these people, I shall be fair and judicious and wise. How so do you ask? Very simple. I know these people. I know this land. In, in short, I can make them better. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it for my people. Well, exactly. Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you, don't you think? Very little is beneath a man such as me. Ha! <laughs> okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All in a good cause, of course. Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. Follow me. We must hurry. Come. Vamos. You must tell me more, John. Are my sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get the sudden urge to kill me. You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. I hope. Cuidado, so George. where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure exactly where. They are definitely in Mexico. That much I know already. You told me you'd found them. And I will. I have my very best man working on it. If I find out you're lying to me, Reyes, you'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your friends, I promise. Just give me time. So how did you meet the... Mierda, you're slowing us down, Marston. We ran in the same gang together, under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids, lost, Angry and forgotten, he kind of saved us. And turned you into criminals? Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to people who needed it more. So he was a revolution. Oh, watch what you're writing. I suppose he saw that the system of power was rotten, that good people had been crushed for too long, and he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless. Make America what he felt it was supposed to be. I like the sound of this man, Dutch. Another violent idealist. Where is he now? I don't know. But I got to find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything and everyone. You have quite a story, John Marston. I really am a little jealous. Jealous? Of his poetic potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? No, mi hermano. That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem, a story, a ballad. A musical tribute to a heroic man and their great deeds. There are over a hundred written about me. Remind me to stay away from men with guitars. In a country where most people cannot read the newspaper, song is a powerful means of communication. We do what we can to battle the lies and propaganda of the government. I know. I've seen your posters. In the capital, they are already talking about my legendary escape from El Presidio, how I fought off a thousand Mexican soldiers with my bare hands. Finally, the people have the truth. 
I have to know, what did you think of Agustin Allende, young? I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he swore to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. It is like a father who beats his son, and then his son takes his dog outside and rapes him. That's a very specific example. I hope. I was wrong. Allende es una marioneta. How do you say a, a, a puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America? They told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. The people are poorer than ever. Allende is nothing more than a perrito for General Sanchez. Not far now. Chuparosa is just up ahead. We must hurry. The train will be leaving soon. What's on that train that's so important? I received information that the army is transporting a vast quantity of supplies to distribute to their forces. Do we have a plan? I will explain when we get there, but those supplies won't be arriving. I figured as much. Today, Allende will pay a high price for his treason. So listen, this train is filled with valuable supplies we need, but it's also filled with government troops. We'll set up a very loud distraction, you can board the train, and then you can disconnect the army cars, huh? Okay. Okay, but listen, we've got to get this done before the train rolls out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? Eh? There are too many soldiers. We must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, young. Wait here while I get the distraction.
Like a cat onto that train. Magnificent. Go ahead and blow the armored car and take whatever you need, my brother. Vámonos. Quick, brother. We don't have much time. Hurry, John. The army will be sending more soldiers. Rest in peace, my friend. This is a great day for the revolution. <laughs> Not a bad day of robbing the establishment to give to the poor, eh, Mr. Marston? Very noble, I'm sure, but I need to know where Williamson and Escuela are hold up. All in good time, amigo. I'm off to deliver these goods. I'll see you back at the ranch. My spies tell me they soon will have the information you need. 